Hello everyone, this is a second video in preparing the lab architecture for the exam 70-740. So in the, in the first video we prepared the two servers and one client and in this video what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow server standard, standard server build guidelines. So we already created a VM and now we're gonna rename the server to a proper this name because when the server is created it is created with a, a random name and then we'll we will be disabling the firewall, we'll be also disabling IE enhanced security and then we'll be assigning this IP address and setting up this IP configuration on all of them and at the end we're, we're, we're gonna verify the verify the connectivity between the servers so so here uh, server 1 server 2 and the client machine is is ready so first of all let's sign pass password so I would uh, I would suggest keeping the same password for all the servers in the lab uh, in order to uh, in order to uh, properly follow uh, the video or you can set up your own uh, simple password so I'm gonna keep a uh, password one P capital P A S S W O R D one and I'm gonna assign the same password to all I mean you can assign different passwords that you like uh, now so I'm using this password and uh, server 8 it is automatically logged in with your host machine your laptop machine's name but uh, here what I'm gonna do now let's log in and this one log in as well so the very first thing we need to do on all in all of these machines that we need to set up uh, uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, rename them to proper server name based on our architecture so log on to the first server and then now one thing that is very important for these servers that you once they are you're logged in with administrator account make sure that uh, you have VMware tools installed now how do we make sure so once the server is logged in you can go to VM and here it says install VMware tool tools which means that the VMware tools are not installed so it is very very important to install these tools so once the servers are ready and uh, so servers are ready then we'll install VMware tools uh, on the client machine on the client machine first of all this is Windows 8 Windows uh, 10 my uh, Windows 10 is almost the same you need to go onto the desktop or so right here once you are at the desktop so I'm at the desktop here uh, from the desktop in order to set up the IP address you can go onto this link right here and uh, and open network sharing so I'm assigning the IP address on this machine so before assigning the IP address let's first set up the name properly in order to change the name on this uh, Windows 8 or Windows 10 open Windows Explorer so you will see you will find a yellow color uh, folder and right click on computer or my computer uh, and here you need to go into right here so where the computer name is you can go to the computer name and where the name is just say change settings click on change settings and then click change here and here we need to provide so we need to match this name so I'm gonna write here canips and O R might be your location you can set up your location um, based on wherever you are so I'm using TORS Toronto so this is not a server this is a client machine so the so CL1 and next So whenever you change a name, it will uh, the, the the machine will be restarted. So while this is saving, so it is saved, and we can close. And here we can say restart, and the server. So server is still starting up. So let me see. So once this is back, then will we will configure the IP address. 
so client machine is restarted I will again go to the desktop uh, from the desktop uh, name is changed I will uh, set up the IP address on Windows uh, 7, Windows 10, Windows 8, uh, just right click on this networking icon and you can go to change adopter settings, then go to Ethernet, and then uh, properties here. Always remember to uh, disable IPv6 and then just select uh, I IPv6, I'm saying Internet Protocol version 4 or IPv4 four and this is ipv6 so here i'm gonna select properties by selecting ipv4 and provide the ip address so here 192 168 10 dot 10 and and when we click tab key on the keyboard or click here this will automatically pop up and here uh, I can select 192.168.10.1 1. and let's uh, check it against our 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 architecture so IP address is 192.168.10.10 10. and this is the subnet mask and this is the DNS settings and the name is already set to this so here IP address subnet mask and this based on our architecture click OK close uh, one more thing we need to do is disable firewall so disabling firewall again right click on this and then go to open network and sharing and here is windows firewall and as you can see these are two green they should be red so we can say turn windows firewall on or off and here we're going to turn it off so windows firewall is off on this so this machine is ready now we can go to server one and log in And at the same time, we'll go to server 2 and log in. So as soon as servers are logged in on servers, we have something called server manager. On server manager, we can set up the name and set up IP address and disable firewall. Client machine, we need to do this individually, but on servers, we have a tool called server manager. So the very first we need the very first thing we need to do is to install VMware tool on server one and server two. Uh, server one I can go to VM and go to install. Uh, wait for until you see a sign uh, a message here. Uh, so it will be in few minutes actually few minutes it's right here actually this one if this sign doesn't appear then you what you can do you can go on to Windows Explorer so most of the thing can be done from Windows Explorer open Windows Explorer go to this PC and then double click on this so it's the same thing and uh, right from here follow the prompt and install um, and install VMware tools. Now VMware tools are very important in uh, VMware uh, workstation even in Hyper-V other virtualization technology because the, these tools can help uh, make the make the VM faster and provide uh, the required drivers. So here uh, just click next 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 and install. So let this complete. I will do the same thing on server number two so go to install vmware tools now these vmware tools are installed automatically on server 2008 and 2012 but 2016 we need to install them uh, i think probably i'm using vmware workstation 12 latest is vmware workstation 14 in 14 vmware tools might be installed by itself so here um, in few moments you will see a setup uh, wizard and you must complete so here we can see it and next 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 because if you don't complete this then vmware tools won't be installed so it will be installed and after installation the, the it will restart on the client machine let's go to desktop and here i will go and see yeah it is if it says reinstall it means that vmware tools are installed so client machine is ready will be preparing so here next it's saying to restart restart the client machine so I won't be restarting it at the moment and why because I need to change the name so I will go and go back to server local server and here this is the name I need to change it to a proper name and the name that we are using is 
Canips, D O R V 1. So, this is the name we are using. Let's try to have exactly the same name as this. So, and then click OK. And on the server, we will say finish on server 2. And we, we are not starting. Go to local server and change the name to change. And uh, here we can say so. It's, we'll say canips t o r s r v 2 and click OK and go to server 1 so it, it's saying that it needs to restart but we can restart once and for all uh, one time so here I can say restart later and on this one I will say restart later as well what I will do is at the same time I will switch off the firewalls I will switch off the firewalls so firewalls are switched off and on this one second one let's switch off the firewalls now we switch off these firewalls so that VMs or the servers can easily communicate with each other um, and here let us assi let's assign the IP address so the IP address uh, based on our architecture so here this is 6 wherever you see version 6 disable this and wherever, you see, wherever you see version 4 select and go to properties and assign IP address so this is server number 1 and as soon as you click here this will be automatically filled up if it's not you can just type 255.255.255.0 and this is the dns ip address i will be providing uh, we don't have dns server at the moment but in future we will so just to make our life easier we'll just we are just providing the ip address so we provided the ip address we'll do the same thing on server 2 so switch off the firewall firewalls are switched off you will you're still seeing this on because we can when we refresh it will show you that it is off and now set up the ip address so go to Ethernet. Ethernet is a network card, and here we'll disable IPv6. Select v4 properties, and so 68 10.2 and tab. You can press the tab key, and then right here 192.168.10.1. So our IP address is set. So one last thing that we need to do on these servers is to disable IE enhanced security, this one. So sometimes this is also required on many servers in advanced courses and in, in advanced trainings when we go, we'll have to switch this off. So let's just switch this off right now. So this is switched off and now we can restart the server 2016. So our basic config configuration is done. If I refresh, it should show me the IP address, firewall is off, name is not changed because we haven't restarted. In order to restart server 2016, click here and then click the power button and restart. So we can do make all of the changes and then we can restart at one time. So here. So now uh, servers are restarting and uh, so I'm going to pause the video. So it didn't took much time uh, right after VMware tool server seems to be fast now as compared to before. So password 1 and log into server number 2. So VMware tools always remember that to install VMware tools. And the last thing we need to do is to just ping, uh, so check the connectivity. How do we check the connectivity? So go to server and type cmd and uh, cmd. So I typed cmd, there should be cmd. So it's just loading up. Let me go to the second one, type cmd. And right here, the prompt, right click on this or you can just click uh, left click the normal click server is still loading up 
so here we'll say ping p i n g ping first of all ping itself so i'm gonna ping server one itself uh, so i'm pinging itself it's pinging this is how it looks like if it is not pinging then let's say provide a wrong ip address it will look like this so wrong ip address meaning it's not destination host loss meaning not available here it says bytes so now ping server number two from here and server number two is two and it is pinging properly let's check from server number two ping 192.168.10.1 so it is pinging number one so this is pinging this this is pinging this now check the client machine so client machine was 10 so it is pinging the client machine as well let's check from the client machine so right here we can say cmd cmd is a command prompt and we can ping 192 168 92 168 and dot 10.1 so it is pinging the server and let's just ping the second so so this completes our lab all three servers are ready all two servers are ready connecting to client machine client machine is ready thank you for watching this video and uh, uh, I will see you in another video.